Playoffs continuing now. It's from Homestead Miami Speedway up front. Chandler Smith into the gas quickly. Sheldon Creed. And Sheldon Creed pulling ahead as they go into turn number one. Creed in the 18 on the bottom of the racetrack. Can he take the lead away coming off a of two? Not able to clear Chandler Smith in that 81 on the outside as they dive into three. Rick, we're working lap 23. I think about 22 of those. Justin Allgaier and Jesse Love have spent pretty much glued to each other, racing very hard here for the ninth position and the eighth position as Love gets past Riley Hurts. But a moment ago, they reminded Justin Allgaier, hey, take it easy. We're way early in this race. Listen to the radio. Uh, it's too early. Be patient. Still got a long way to go here. First 15 is done. Now you're in the second. Do not get baited into that. Wait a little longer, we got time. So see, they keep telling Justin on the radio, because you're running the high line, that will be beneficial to you. The double zero needs to be, this pass should happen on the front stretch. For the lead, does he get there before the start finish line? That one was close. And Cole Custer was leading that lap. And now he's gonna go by the 81 on that high line. Yep, that should do it. The double zero should have the momentum off the top. And a clear racetrack in front of him. Cole Custer leading at Homestead Miami Speedway. Like this is going to work well for Austin Hill. The guys on the top are going to get bottled up right here. Custer's slow on corner exit. Don't look now. Three wide for the lead. Sheldon Creed trying to join as well. Three abreast as they go into turn one. Hill on the bottom of the racetrack has to check up a little bit as he got loose. And now back into the gas. We'll see if the 21 can stay just in front of the double zero. He does. He takes that spot. Now he'll set his sights on Eric Almarola to the bottom of the racetrack. Almarola goes there as well. So Eric goes down there to block the 21 right to him. They're both going to be slow on corner exit. Can Custer take advantage of it? Coming up on two laps to go. Stage one, and Austin Hill with a one-second advantage over second place Almarola, but Hill wins stage one in Miami. And you hear the driver excited about it already. Fifth stage win this season. Stage two about to get underway as Austin Hill won stage one and won the race off pit road. Eric Almarola on his outside, four and five wide behind them as they fanned out going into one. Sam Mayer in the one with a big run there, got to the back bumper of that 98 of Riley Herbst, but. Mayor run in the middle of the racetrack now, trying to gain as many positions as he can on these fresh good years. Marty, what's going on with the 98? This is the risk versus reward, Jeff, that you talked about in the pre-race show. Yeah, there's speed right up against the wall, but the risk is you can make contact with the wall. We saw it with Sammy Smith. Leading this race, here's the contact with the wall. So see, it starts with the right rear. That didn't bother me, but then when it pulled the right front in and the smoke really come off the right side, Jeff, 
That's when I get concerned. Eric Almirola running in fourth position in the 20 car, fastest today in a single lap of any car on track. And remember why the 40-year-old was hired as he's getting pressure right now from Ryan Sieg. He was hired both to win in this Joe Gibbs Racing Toyota, which he's done twice this year, but also to mentor young drivers. His, he's just recently removed from his Cup Series career. He knows a lot, and he's very good at explaining it. He gets a little wiggle right there. As far as the damaged tires, the double zero had some right front wear as well. So with four to go, we'll keep a good eye on this double zero to make sure it's not something more than just losing overall grip. It's like, now we have a car spinning down the back stretch. Yep, there goes the 92 of Nick Lights. He will bring the caution out with four laps to go. More than likely, this will end the stage. It's sideways here. Take another look. Nick's under another car, trying to make that pass, just trying to go to the throttle. The back end just doesn't stick for him. Fortunately, no contact. Doesn't hit anything. It was a nice job of not overcorrecting the car. You know, drivers sometimes tend to turn the wheel right and they, the front tires catch and the car will turn head on into the wall. As they will come to the green and white checkered flag and it will be Austin Hill who has swept stage one and stage two. Riley Herbst, when the caution came out, was the first car scored a lap down, and so Riley will get the free pass. What a day for this team so far. So Wallach is Green ninth. Flag. Zilich is 14th on the restart. Parker Kligerman moves out of line. He tries to get to the outside of the one of Sam Mayer. Four wide for Kligerman as he's trying to use that outside line. Russell's got a big run on the outside with a push from the 20 car. Will Hill lose the lead to Custer through three and four? Now, Hill door to door with Custer for the lead. Little side drafting as they go down the back stretch and into turn three. Will Hill drift up the racetrack? It looks as though he's going to stay on the bottom. We saw the seven get into the wall. Exactly what they didn't want him to do. Oh, boy. And a big caution here. As we see the 26, that's Ryan Truex behind the wheel. He has spun from 13th. Oh, trouble on the 11. Sparks heavy on the right front. Flat tire, I believe, goes up the banking and catches the 26. Poor Truax had no idea it was coming. Back behind the 21 as the green flag back in the air. And a great restart this time for Austin Hill. He'll easily clear the two of Jesse Love. Now we'll see what Eric Almirola in the 20 will do. Love working the middle of the racetrack. He's going to lose second, but here comes Custer. He's all the way to the inside of the 21, and he clears him as they come off a of four. What a move by the double zero, third to first in one set of quarters. Boy, Kim Sam Mayer is lucky that that tire sort of gave him an indication going into turn three, and you saw him immediately pull it off the wall all the way down to pit road. Credit to him to be able to get it to slow down to be able to get the pit road. We'll see which tire it was, but yes, he came on the radio and said he felt like he had a tire coming apart. So Sam Mayer finally making his last set of tires, putting on the last set of tires here at Miami. Try to hit his signboard, gets on the brakes slides over now very good work by the crew even the gas man doesn't plug in remember any work is a much larger penalty so heads up work by the crew but unfortunately the gamble for the one didn't work out without a yellow but right now at plus 33 i think the seven car from what i've heard on the radio they're gonna feel okay about that day right custer at plus 28 
if he wins the race, which he should be scored the leader once Almendinger pits, that will kind of jump him up as well. Won't change the running a whole lot, but it will guarantee Custer a spot. So now Cole Custer dives to the bottom of the racetrack, and here comes the 21, a big run through the middle of the track. He got exactly what he wanted. That was a gift from Custer running the bottom because the 21 has been running that groove, runs low on the entry and then jumps on the outside of him. Hill takes the lead away from Custer. Double Zero is going to try to fight back, but it's going to be really difficult with that 21 up against the wall. Hill out in front. Hill in two playoff races will join Almondinger as winners. And Austin Hill is going to win in Miami. Way to go, Daddy. An automatic spot. Thank you guys so much. In the championship yes. four. Thank you. And listen to the emotion. What a car. Oh my God, thank you so much, guys.